So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best live streaming settings for Fortnite. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So let's first start off with the software needed. Like if you guys have never live streamed or recorded before, then you've probably never heard of this software. The software that I'm referring to is called OBS. This is the best software for your recording and live streaming needs. And it's actually really easy to get set up. So yeah, you will need to download the software. So your software won't look like this when it first opens. You won't have any scenes. You won't have your mic audio and you won't have your system audio but still follow along it's so easy to get everything set up so the first thing that you want to do is create a new scene so to do that just click the plus and then name your scene whatever you want and then press ok so this is the first thing that you need to do next you need to add a source to actually see your game and to actually live stream it so just click the plus within the sources tab and add either a game capture or a display capture i personally think game capture is a lot better it's a lot smoother but if you want to record your entire desktop then choose the desktop capture or the display capture sorry so click on game capture name it whatever you want and press ok and then just leave this blank for now what it will do is once you actually open up fortnite it will automatically pick up the game but if it doesn't just double click on the game capture change it from capture any full screen application just click the drop down menu and change it to capture specific window and then you can actually pick the fortnite window press on it and then press ok and then now if you have your game open it should automatically pick up fortnite so now just open up fortnite and then you should see your game pop up so once your fortnite loads your game will automatically pop up but if it doesn't, like I said before, change it to capture a specific window and then the game should pop up. So this is what it's going to look like when the game actually pops up. Depending on your monitor's resolution, that's what it's going to default to. So since mine is 1920 by 1080, my game fits perfectly within the window. But if your monitor like is a different resolution, then it might not fit within the window. So like what you're going to do is just right click on the preview window, click transform and then press fit to screen and then it should just fit to your resolution if you want to live stream with face cam then to do that just add another source click video capture device name it your camera or whatever click ok a new window should open under device click the drop down menu and pick your camera's output once you find it just press ok and then it should pop up on top make sure that it's actually on top though or else it won't show and then you could just resize it to wherever you want it by clicking on it and then clicking one of these little red dots in like the corner you could just resize it and just move it to wherever you want on the screen so now for overlays just find a website that actually gives out custom overlays or you can make your own so to actually add them to obs just click the plus under the source and click image name it whatever and then press ok and then find your image file and just import it and then press ok and make sure that it's on the very top or else you won't see it then you can just resize it and mess around with it to your liking so next is finding your stream key this is the most important part without your stream key you won't be able to live stream so to find your stream key just click file and go to settings go to stream and then click which service you want whether it's youtube or twitch i personally when i live streamed i live streamed on youtube press get stream key once you press it a new tab should open and then you will see your stream key make sure you do not show this to anyone or else they can live stream from your account just press copy and then close out from the window go back to obs and then just paste your stream key there and then it should say connect account if it does then press that but if it doesn't then you're all good just press apply and okay so next we need to cover your bitrate settings so just go to output and then click on the streaming tab your bitrate is one of the most important things that you need to do in order to get good stream quality the lower the bitrate the lower the stream quality the higher the bitrate the more crispier the images so i have a nvidia graphic graphics card meaning that i have the the h.264 like encoder thing but for most people they should have the x.264 so your tab will look like this have your rate control on cbr or constant bit rate make sure your bit rate is anywhere between 4000 to 6000 like i said before the higher you go the more crispier your images but it also depends on your wi-fi speed and your cpu so just test it and see what works with you leave your keyframe on zero 
and then for your cpu usage the higher you go the less strain it puts on your cpu making everything run smoother right now my setting defaults to very fast but if i were to go higher than the less cpu usage but if i were to go lower the more my cpu has to strain to kind of make the image a lot better so honestly like i would recommend going on very fast super fast or ultra fast people who use anything lower than that have like god tier pcs keep the rest on default for those that have a nvidia graphics card just copy down these settings the only thing that i would change for you guys like if it's not smooth is your quality try performance max performance or anything else try it out with your pc and see everyone's pc is different once you're done just click apply and then we're going to go on to the audio and video next so once you are in this tab just go to your global audio devices make sure your desktop audio is routed to your actual desktop audio and make sure you pick the right mic and that's basically it for audio there's a lot of streamers that actually use like background music and stuff within their live streams so basically how they do that is they actually pull up a youtube tab they have their like music within like a playlist then they actually right click their speaker icon and go to volume mixer and then here they just mess with the levels they'll make a whole nother video on like separating audio within the software but for right now let's just move on to the video so for the video just copy down these settings these are the best settings for your video it all depends on your monitor's resolution so for your base canvas resolution click your monitor's resolution and then make sure your output scale resolution is the same now like if you are lagging then you could change your scale resolution down to something a little lower that will help with the lag but it's honestly best to keep it at your monitor's resolution for the best quality possible make sure your downscale filter is on bilinear and make sure your fps is on 60 please make sure your fps is on 60 apply and okay and you're done once you're done you are all set to start live streaming like if you guys have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comments down below make sure to check out the video that is on screen now